Are you ready for muddy paws uh, later on today? It's uh, it's just saturated out there. It's going to be uh, very soggy the rest of today. Uh, Max HD radar and satellite showing this slow moving system that is going to keep it uh, just a very wet and rainy throughout our Thursday. So we're, we've already picked up about an inch of rainfall over the last 24 hours. We're going to pick up probably another inch to an inch and a half. Uh, no significant flooding expected, but watch out near some rising rivers, creeks, streams. Watch for some uh, ponding of water on the roadways. Sam will tell you here in a second. There's been a couple of slide offs already, so uh, definitely watch out for some of that uh, hydroplaning on your way to work or school this morning. Uh, we've had a little bit of a break over the east end, but notice that rain's going to be filling right back in some heavier pockets of rain in Meade County around Brandenburg and again it's just a steady stream with that flow coming in from the south and southwest. Now eventually later on this afternoon we're going to have a front that will move through that might kick up a couple of strong thunderstorms. Notice the rain uh, could pick up and become a little heavier around midday today. It looks like our warmest temperatures will be right around lunchtime late morning early afternoon in the mid to upper 60s before the front crosses the area. That front will likely kick up a couple strong thunderstorms, mainly east of our viewing area toward Lexington. But notice that wind shift, that northwest flow kicks in, so dropping into the 50s by late afternoon and into the evening time. Uh, for the first half of the day, the winds will be fairly light, but uh, then the winds will pick up as that front moves on through this evening. So it's going to be a gusty day tomorrow and cooler, 40s in the morning, and then upper 50s and lower 60s tomorrow afternoon. Northeastern half Half of the area has the best chance for leftover light rain showers, drier off to the southwest for tomorrow afternoon. Now we'll get rid of all the rain tomorrow evening and then a brighter weekend is on the way with 70s and some sunshine. Just about perfection for your Saturday. If you have any outdoor plans, we are in good shape for this weekend. Here's the rainfall totals again over the next 24 hours, looking at an additional inch or so of rainfall. So the precip tracker here has the rain chances continuing into tomorrow afternoon, drying out tomorrow night. All dry. Saturday and just a, a little 20% chance of an isolated shower Sunday, but most of our weekend will be dry. So that means the patio forecast is looking a whole lot better for this weekend and beyond Saturday 74 78 Sunday 81 for Monday and again mostly dry. Keeping the pollen report low for today and tomorrow, but it will spring back up with the dry conditions and sunshine as the trees begin to spread their pollen again this weekend and into next week. Uh, wet roads out there. It is uh, just a soggy look out of our first savings bank cam, our UofL Health Camera Network. Lower 60s right now in this afternoon will top out at 69 degrees with more of those scattered showers out there. Tonight, uh, light rain, breezy, and turning cooler with lows in the upper 40s. After the wet pattern ends Friday, a whole lot better and warmer 74 Saturday, upper 70s and lower 80s Sunday through the middle of next week. Sam